Right, in this video, how do you charge up your car's flat aircon? It's not working at all while well, using a bucket of warm water, hot water, and your normal recharge system like this Easy Chill by STP. And how do you know it's flat? Have any aircon gaps? You go to run it, so it's engine on. That off there, move it to aircon. You can put it on maximum, that's fine. So it should be blowing cold air, so the compressor should be turning. So let's have a look at the compressor as it is right now before the charge. Okay, in the engine compartment now of the Ford Focus 1.5 PCI, and uh, we're looking for the compressor, we're looking for the drive belt with the short car find the drive belt area of your car. Uh, here's the drive belt. Look down, use a torch. The only thing you need a torch to see that the compressor where my finger is pointing to, just where the blue label is round back there, down there, is not turning. See that? It's not turning. Okay. So that should be rotating with me having the aircon on. So we know it's flat or anything. So I'm just going to give the car a few minutes to warm up with the engine on because it does help. Locate your low port port next. The low port on this car is here. Okay, don't attach anything yet. Just know where the compressor is, the low port is. Uh, there would be another port somewhere in this car, but that would be the high port. That's not the low port. Low port's there on the car, so I'll need a long cable to connect to that bottle there. Okay. Whilst the car is warming up, doesn't need to be stinging hot. Here is, I'll just show you my cable. I think this is a, a meter, meter long. Uh, it's a bit of a, um, I would say, a bit of a guesswork really, uh, how much to put in. Usually in the green area is good when it's, uh, when it's uh, pumped up to the correct amount. I'm gonna add in R134 Alpha. So reading off the blue scale, my apologies, not the green area, blue scale would be from there to there. So maximum's there, lower's there. So add it to the maximum. I want to get in there as much as possible when it's running, okay? Uh, these valves here, they tend to leak. So make sure you've got some uh, PTFE tape wrapped around before screwing these on. Likewise, I've got some on this side as well. So this side and this side uh, and uh, usually I have some on top of the bottle which I do all right so now because it may have been sitting in there maybe some air has ingressed into the system it's good to it's just good to screw this on and get rid of whatever air is inside whatever type of what well, it could be air it could be Aircon fluid in there, just get rid of that. So that's on there. And the way these systems work is as you screw in, is when the gas comes out. So, unless I push on there though, of course, uh, I'm not going to get any release of gas. So I'm going to screw that in. So, pressure's building up. I need uh, probably a screwdriver just to press that in the squirt. Whatever's in there, out. So make sure there's no leaks. And the leak, I had to re-jig uh, my, make sure there's pressure in there. I'm just gonna burst some of this out. It's quite tight, I don't think I can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to add it as it is. Right, notice the pressure is about 35 in the blue zone. Let's see what we can add to the to the vehicle. But first, we need to short out the uh, aircon relay switch. If it's low pressure, it won't come on. Uh, the relay won't allow it to come on, so we need to short that out. So find where that is on your car. I'm going to do that now. I know where mine is. I normally use this, that thick gauge wire bent over. I'll show you what I do. 
to locate the engine compartment fuse box. This thing here and me. See the engine's off now. Uh, okay. Goes in there like that. It's that one. Look at the lid. Double check. Okay, and then if you can see that, them two are them two. These bit down near those bit there. R11. Here's my aircon relay. Look in your uh, owner's manual, look in a fuse box. Uh, the scripter, you can download it probably on the website. Don't like the look at that. It's got no lid on it. Still working though. Remove the relay. Uh, two small ones are the control. Two big ones are the ones you need to uh, bypass. So put that there. Now, as soon as I put this in, it might spark. It also means that the aircon will be on regardless now, and this is what we want because it wasn't turning. Now, I want to be able to get recon fluid in if it's not going to turn. It's not going to feel more pressure if you can't add it in, right? So, ideally, I should have taken some of the gas out of here. Now, I've fully pressed that down, but don't seem to press that down hard enough as it is. So, we just have to do make do with saying that inside that cable we only had aircon fluid from adding it from last time. So next thing you do fully give this a good squish before we get onto that stage. Now the trick is why have I got the bottle of warm water, hot water, is because I'm gonna keep that handy. Because when we add this in one of the things about it is, here's my, here's my bottle of water, careful not to chuck it in the engine compartment. One of the things is, it's going to cool down. As soon as it cools down, this bottle loses pressure. And you're going to kind of not save money because you're going to end up adding, you know, maybe only half of what you could have got, if you know what I mean. So instead of adding the full amount by having to buy a new one, you only got half as much because it's getting too cold. But it says, by the laws of um, gas dynamics, I can't remember exactly which law, Boyle's law, uh, someone put it in, it's, it's the P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2, by that law, uh, when you add it in, this bottle gets cold, when it gets cold it loses pressure, so that's why I've got the bottle of warm hot water there. So I've got to make sure I haven't dropped anything, my lid is there. On, no. That's on properly. Okay, it's adding in pressure already. It's adding in gases already. It must have a leak. I just need it to be good for me for a little while. So, right, without ever doing anything, I'm at low, quite low pressure. I'm not sure I've got enough fluid for this. So, knowing that, I'm going to switch off the valve. I haven't even turned the engine on yet. I've not even turned the engine on yet. I'm actually going to dunk this straight in here. I'm trying to build up the pressure. Now I'm going to turn on the engine. Just hit 
take heat away from the, uh, the water. Vertical. It can't be fluid that goes in, it should be gas. So if it had enough thick on fluid, that would immediately jump totally to the, uh, the higher zone, there, the 50 zone. You know, I may have to book in to get it charged up once and for all. And it costs about the same as this, so my next video on this could be my experience. Uh, of using one of them shots to add in air con fluid. See what I get. So I get. I do anything. Anyway, this is what you do to get the most out. Lock it. Add some heat in it. See what I've got any. off below this necessary blue zone. Okay. Anyway, that is what you do. Look. You see we get to the uh, upper blue zone. It's fully charged. Simple as that. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm just low on gas. But you know, I put on all my uh, mistakes and errors. I thought I had more gas than that. That's why I would use a bottle of warm water, hot water, to help squeeze the last bit of uh, juice out of your aircon bottle. That's what I would use. Thanks for watching.